Hello, this is Miles O'Brien here, also known as Scorch Artist, and uh, this video will be a video of, uh, the video will be showing me working on uh, the very first uh, colored and ink drawing in my new sketchbook. That's uh, about a page in words. Uh, it's a guy discovering his psychic powers for the first time, so that's what you'll be seeing. The video itself that I'll be talking about, uh, like the title suggests, is my uh, top six tips um, for any comic book artist and uh, in making or being able to make uh, comic books more effectively and more consistently. Uh, so focus more on the individual rather than the actual comic making process. And one more thing before I start is that I do not make these videos to uh, aggrandize myself or put myself on a pedestal or, or anything of that nature. I make these videos because when you teach somebody something, a little known fact is that when you teach somebody something, what happens is in your mind having to go through the process of teaching, uh, what it does is it learns the material that much deeper. So what I'm teaching you here, I'm also learning and I'm helping myself learn them, uh, learn these tips even better. So definitely uh, that's why. Uh, I'm going to get right into it. So the very first thing I'm going to talk about here is procrastination. Now this is the devil and I'm pretty sure all of us know who wants to, who everybody, anybody who wants to join a comic books of any sort has experienced procrastination before. A uh, good thing is that you can get over procrastination. Uh, you just have to learn and have the right tools to do so. So that's why in the description below, I'm going to put down the two videos that I find most helpful um, in getting rid of procrastination or uh, effectively combating procrastination. And these are videos that I use. Um, one's a TED Talk and one's, I think, a, a guy named Leo from my self-help channel. But they're very, very effective tools they're going to give you. And I use them uh, not on a daily basis, but whenever I'm experiencing extreme procrastination issues. The next one that's very, very important, um, if you happen to get over focus and, or, or focus, uh, if you happen to get over procrastination, the very next thing you're going to encounter is your focus and willpower. Now, uh, you're going to be able, you're going to have to learn how to focus very, very well. Um, if you, if you can stop procrastinating and you can't focus, it's a big, big problem. So definitely learn how to focus. I'm going to put some videos in the description down below on ways to do that better. But, uh, one of my biggest tips that I've that's really helped me is break your uh, work time into 90 minute sections. So an hour and 90 minutes of, of work. And that is because uh, your willpower is basically like a battery. And the more you use it, the more it runs out. Um, so when, when you start your day, uh, start your day, uh, basically how, how I start my day is basically I start, I drink some water, I go out on the balcony and uh, get some sun, then I come in and meditate. And uh, then after that, I actually start working immediately. Because what happens is the beginning of the day you have the most willpower and uh, that's basically where I want to be when I'm working. Not at the end of the day when my willpower is all drained and stuff like that. So I'll put the two videos in the description that I, uh, I, I watch um, to basically reinforce these ideas in my mind and uh, so that I can more effectively uh, be more focused. Now uh, the next one is a very very important topic and that is to learn as much as you can. Now this is something I've seen every single uh, manga artist discuss or any single artist in general that I've discussed um, when I'm looking up into research and uh, basically you want to be able to you want to be learning as much as you can um, Masashi Kishimoto who makes Naruto uh, or made Naruto used to uh, buy Blade of Immortal um, from uh, Shonen Jump he used to buy the Shonen Jump magazines and uh, plaster them on his wall and study the panel structure um, Stanley Kubrick who made 2001 A Space Odyssey and many other great movies um, he used to when he, when he made that movie he read like 50 plus uh, sci-fi novels and things of that nature. Basically, um, you want to be learning as much as you can about the topic that you're going to be expressing and uh, how to express it in the best, most effective way possible. And you can tell with Naruto and 2001 A Space Odyssey and things of that nature, they are very, very successful and they're very, very well done. And that's because the person who made them learned as much as they could and it reflected in their ability to create the work artistically. The very next one I think is greatly overlooked. Um, this is a really difficult one. It can be a hard pill for some to swallow, but this is basically monitoring your peer group. So monitoring the people you are around. Um, I used to spend a lot of time around people that weren't focused. I spent a lot of time around people that didn't want to draw or didn't want to do anything of that nature. Uh, they kind of just wanted to mess around and me, me also because I was with them, wanted to just mess around and didn't really want to focus and do any work. And uh, this didn't obviously didn't uh, create anything. I wasn't able to do anything creative because everybody I was around wasn't creative. They were, uh, we were all lazy. Um, we weren't diligent. We weren't hardworking. We weren't, uh, anything of that nature. And if you hang around people like that, what happens is you adopt those habits also, and it reflects, um, and how you live your life. So definitely, uh, build a peer group of people who are, who are of the qualities that you would like to reflect in yourself. Um, my, my best advice would be to build those qualities in yourself first, and it'll be easier to find people like that. You attract what you are, not what you are. 
very next one is something that uh, is a very touchy subject. This one is conquering your fears. Now, a very common misconception is that uh, nobody's scared. Um, the thing is that we're all scared. So that some of us uh, handle those emotions better. And uh, there's a book that I would like you to read, or I'll put the book summary down below, a uh, video to the book summary, or a video of the book summary. It's basically Stephen Pressfield's The War of Art. Um, when I was very scared of putting up YouTube videos and things of that nature, uh, I had read this book previously and it gave me the tools in order to realize that fear is a very, very normal thing. Everybody's scared all the time. It's just that uh, some people are better at uh, feeling that fear and then immediately going to work anyway and putting out the thing anyway. Because fear is something that you have to teach your mind not to feel. Uh, my one call to action for people who are very scared at the current moment is to uh, take any creative work that you have, maybe it's a drawing, a YouTube video or anything like that, and uh, the thing that you're really scared of putting up, uh, I want you to get your social media account um, and, and basically just upload that drawing, uh, get a nice picture, a nice scan of it, and just upload it. You're going to feel scared, it's going to feel awkward, um, because it's definitely not a normal feeling to be sharing uh, your deep personal things with the world, but it's something that the very nature of you not wanting to do it is something that you have to do. Um, this is something that if I didn't do, I wouldn't be able to draw and put on video, because it was, it was really awkward at first. but. Um, because of that awkwardness, you kind of get over it and you realize it's not that bad. So definitely conquer your fears. Uh, book summary down below. It's a really awesome book. And uh, yeah. And the last one, which is the pivotal one, um, you can apply this one to basically every single other concept I've, I've told you here. And that is to practice. Um, you can practice basically not procrastinating. You can practice focusing. You can practice learning. You can practice your, your monitoring your peer group. You can practice conquering your fears. You can practice practicing. So um, practice it applies to many things. Practice applies to uh, basically uh, a good rule of thumb I like to go to with practice is that something I've heard from a self-help author a long time ago, uh, not author, but a person, um, is that your average or your best work now will be your average in six months. So if you practice consistently, and you're always learning and you're applying all these uh, concepts concepts, and you're always practicing, basically your best drawing now, whatever one that may be for you, whatever artwork that may be for you, your best comic book now will be your average uh, ability in six months if you continue to do it. So uh, I've seen that. I'll link my progress video up in the corner there. But if, you, uh, if you've seen that video, you can see uh, the proof of that. My best work back then is definitely uh, uh, way below my average work currently. And that's because I've been practicing and continually improving, and we can all do this if we uh, if we do it. Practicing is a is really the, the key to anything. Practicing and learning. Um, if you do both those things, you're pretty much set. Now uh, I tell you these things because I I myself am learning them, and uh, when I teach you them, I am also uh, reinforcing these ideas in my own mind so that when it comes time, I, I make the right decisions. So uh, that's really it. This is Scorch Artist. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, any suggestions, any comments, any tips that you guys have that I missed or anything like that, uh, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear and discuss them with you. And uh, the next video will be the coloring video, so please look forward to that. And uh, this is Scorch Artist. Um, peace out. Have a good day.